Hello, this video will cover uh, cloud function configuration. Uh, so this is needed because our SAS React Builder depends on a lot of uh, cloud functions. And what are cloud functions? You can read more about them here. They give extra functions and possibilities to Firebase uh, and works over, over the Firebase real-time database, the Fire Store database and the Fire Storage. So it's a pretty neat functionality from Firebase. Um, yeah, here we can read more what could be done. And we have bundled few functions that are necessary in order the React App Builder to work for you. So uh, first we need to do some configuration inside the cloud function folder. Here it is. Okay, and inside it we have a config.js file. Uh, and first we will set up a SendGrid API key. SendGrid is a service, you can read more about them here. It's a service for sending transactional emails. And we have included their uh, node, uh, node uh, how do I say, node module in order to send emails from the Firebase directly. But in order to do that, you need to have your, uh, your plan, your Firebase plan as a Blaze or some other the fixed one uh, because uh, Firebase doesn't allow external connections if you don't have uh, Blaze plan or Flame plan uh, and you can purchase that plan by clicking here or here and on this page on this project we have enabled payment so that's all you have to do uh, then uh, we need to create our SendGrid account and get an API key. I already have done it. I have created an, an account and I will create a new API key for me. I um, need to enter a name, uh, tester. Full access and then I should be able to click on create. Yep, here it is. So I should copy this number. It's copied and I should enter it here. Okay, then uh, I need to configure my email from and this needs to be the same account that you are subscribed with or you can see <coughs> which, uh, which email you have uh, how do I say? Mm, verified. And that should be the email that is that will appear as a sender when your client receives the email. In our case, I think it's this one. So I will use that one. Note if it will not work if this email is not one a verified email inside SendGrid. In this case, this one. Okay, so I will enter that one. And when we send an email, there is a subject predefined, so uh, your client will receive an email when the app is built. So yeah, this is okay subject for us, but you can modify it. And the mail text is your mobile apps is produced. You can now continue with the given instructions. And uh, yeah, you can modify this also. And that's all you need to do regarding configurations. Uh, this file has been created before. We have created by uh, in step one. So there should be any modifications there and then let's go to our next step and that's creating the email subject okay switch to place plan and in this video we will also cover um, publishing cloud functions so i will go there and it should load shortly Okay, 
after step one is finished uh, we should upload the cloud uh, functions to firebase so first i need to have a firebase tools i think i already have it you should find this as an administrator uh, to check if you have firebase you can just do firebase version sorry correct version and yes i have firebase installed so <clears throat> i need to do a firebase init open the cloud folder <clears throat> so i need to be in the cloud functions folder open in terminal okay i need to do their firebase init okay and i should use functions when i'm here i should press on the spacebar in order functions to be selected okay then i should select my project where i want to upload my firebase functions it's on tester so it's a bit below tester yeah here it is i think it was like that yeah tester 8 okay so i will click enter there what language would like to use to write cloud functions i use javascript do you want the slim to catch problem not now already exists overwrite no file already exists overwrite no uh, right now do you want to install dependencies with npm now let's see what the documentation says do you want to do you want to install dependencies with npm now yes okay let's do that I think it will not take that long since there are not a lot of packages. Let's see what will be next. So writing configuration to Firebase JSON, writing project information, Firebase initialization complete. Okay. We should expect that. I will pause the video and continue shortly. Okay, shortly we got this. So our Firebase JSON is done, Firebase source is done, git also okay. Firebase initialization complete. Okay, according to documentation, we should now go in functions. So so far we have been here. We need to go in this folder. So just run cd functions and I'm there. Okay, and then I should run npm install once again. So this will install the packages from this folder. Okay, that's been done. And then upload the functions to Firebase. It just simple as this. So know that now in if I go to functions, I don't have nothing there. And when I run this, this will deploy all my cloud functions to Firebase. I will pause the video and continue shortly. Okay, after that I run Firebase deploy and then all the functions are compiled and uploaded so I should see this um, that my cloud functions are available now and that it may take up to 30 seconds the functions to be available and ready to use so if I do a refresh here I will should get the list of my cloud functions and yes, here is the list of all the functions we have regarding the 
uh, React App Builder that I uh, immediately used are the Paddle integrations, which handles the payments, we ha which handles the uh, payments notifications from Paddle. Then also we have very important is the send notify email. So this function uh, sends an email to your client when their app is created. So that's been on uh, uploading, installing and uploading the cloud functions. You can see uh, the log of <coughs> each functions here, view logs. So this is useful if you want to report a problem or see what what's go, goes wrong. Don't forget to modify the plan to blaze or flame. Thanks for watching this video.